Brisbane Yamaha nose boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. And today, I've got something very exciting. A yellow fin bar crusher comparison. Have a look at this. We've got the new yellow fin 580 folding hardtop and the bar crusher 575C. Great boats. But I thought what we should do is just have a look at what are the differences and how they're made up. Gal trailer, good easy tow trailer. They are, they're a good trailer, make no mistake. What we have here is three mil sides, four mil bottom versus the yellow fin, which is four and four. Fuel tank, you can get a long range fuel tank. The standard fuel tank on a bar crush is 110. You can get a long range for 160, yellow fin 180. Folding hard top, you've got a 115 maximum versus 130. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure up. This one comes, it's a used boat that I've bought and it comes with an anchor winch, awesome addition to any boat. And I wish this yellow fin, I put one on that too. Now, Bar Crusher make a unique catch and release. I think they're a must for all boats, spare wheel. And so now come over and have a look at the yellow fin just briefly, because we're gonna measure. You can see different form of catch and release, same thing. I actually think the yellow fin's better. The yellow fin has an alloy trailer, lighter, sexier, just, you know, more new age, but nothing to wrong with the old Gell trailers. Uh, so let's have a look. And one of the things that last time I did a comparison on a bar crusher, they talked to, people asked, how are they built? So this is a bar crusher. And what they do is they actually fillet weld them. And this bit here, right? So you've got three and four is that. Now, right, and that's good. I think that's old school. I think it takes a lot of craftsmanship to make them like that. You know, you can imagine those straight lines. Yellow fin, which this piece fits in here. That's that piece there. So it's the same. What they do, have a look at this extrusion. Extrusion comes in welded each side. Now, the 580 yellow fin is four mil sides, four mil bottom. Then when it goes to the 6.2, it's six mil and four mil. Awesome strong, lot of variability in there that you can make the shapes. Don't know, I asked why they made it like that and yellow fin and the head technicians there. And as you know, yellow fin's made by the biggest manufacturer of uh, aluminium boats in the Southern Hemisphere, you know? And so what they did is I said, how come you make it like this with the extrusion? They said, well, why doesn't everyone else make it like that? Good answer, I thought. Now, as you know previously, let's get some measurements out. I've got Michael here, Michael Meredith. And Michael Meredith, and I've got my glasses, because I had a lot of comments from people said, Aaron, you can't measure. You're Scheisenhausen at measuring. And I agree, but I put glasses on, so now I'll be able to see. Go to the front, right to the bowsprit, straight down, and I'm gonna come to the end of the transom. What do we got? Are you there? Five eight, I reckon. Now, Michael, let's go across the other side. I wanna measure the whole beam. Right to the outside, just behind the chairs. Let's go there. Oh, can you see that? 2385. Okay, now inside, Michael, what do we got? Show up there, 183. 1830. Now, come back here just to see if it reduces. Come back here, Michael. 185. Have a look at that on it. People like to check. And let's see how deep it is back from the chairs. Michael, see what the cockpit space is. Not to the transom door, just to there, to the chair. What do we got there? We've basically got, oh, 1200, 1250. Right, so they've got folding lounge. Now let's go over and have a quick look at the bar crusher. Just to measure, because bar crushers, as we spoke before, this is the inside of the bar crusher, the floor. So they're very deep inside. Oh, give me that measurement here. Let me see the freeboard off the floor, because that's an interesting one. And what we are is 720. 720, so if you're standing in the boat, 720. 
Okay, Michael, to this, exactly the same place, and let's see what this little baby measures. Overall length, good looking ladder there on that bar crusher. Oh, five, seven, five, seven and a half, almost the same. Let's have a look at the beam of it, Michael. And, oh, 21.70. Okay, inside. And Dan will put all these specs up. 1.6. Now from the back of the seat, and let's measure back here to see if it opens up or what it does. Cross here, let's make it all the same. 1.62. Now, how far, how big is this cockpit space? Yeah, about 1,200. Come back here and have a look. 1,200, maybe a little bit more. So the yellow fin's a lot beamier. And let's go the depth. No, 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 no. Where are we, Michael? Oh, 730, 10 mil. More freeboard. It's interesting, isn't it? So, in summary, what we've got the yellow fin is bigger. It's built out of thicker material on the side. I don't know if that really matters. But what we're going to do is we'll have a, a brief look inside and then we'll get on the water and see what really matters, how they ride. Trim tabs, Volvo Penna trim tabs on the yellow fin. As you come up, have a look at that transom door, Dan. Because it's a, it's a, have a look at that. It comes up, locks in, double skinned, turns into a walkway. I quite like that. We've got a removable rear lounge. We have a, a compartment here that your batteries go in. It can take dual batteries. We have deck wash. We have a uh, live, oh, quite a large, have a look inside there. It's quite a li live, li large, uh, with a window in the live bait tank. Good looking cutting board, good poly board, five rod holders. These seats, good quality seats, a little foot rest at the back, I suppose. Someone might sit back here and probably on that side and watch your rods if you're chasing a few billies, doing a bit of trawling. Now the seats, which way do they move? They'll move, they're slide seats, which is good. We've got uh, 190 litres, like I mentioned, a little glove box up here, a couple of drink holders, hydraulic steering, folding windscreen, just like they both fold from here. Can you see these little clips, Dan? These has got a little safety lock, and this roof folds down very easily, comes down and locks into position, a couple of little safeties there to lock into. I don't want to lock that at the moment, but it folds down nice if the weather, and you can put clears on it. Good little bunk up the front. Fuel filling, show that Dan, fuel filling's outside on this one, just like all the new bar crushers look like they've changed that from being inside to outside, and that was a good move. Nice and strong. Two, four, about six rod holders. No, two, four, yeah, six rod holders. You know, we've got uh, 11 rod holders, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 rod holders on a 5.8. I think we're probably three rods short. Let's have a look in here. Cabin. I want you to come in back here and have a look at this, Dan. Come around here. He doesn't like getting in the cabins with me. Make him the cabin boy. Now, have a look at that. You can, that's an inspection hatch in case something happens to wiring. Because in salt water, you've got a, uh, you've got a, a, a cigarette socket there or a USB, and you've got fuses right here, and the cabin's all lined. Cushions, bank cushions, uh, bunk cushions there. Have a look here. What do we got? Bit of storage. Not a lot. There's your live bait tank. Uh, uh, there your deck wash is there. And so... Pretty handy, good space for the dash to put electronics on. They come standard with a radio. You know, trim tabs here. Nicely laid out boat, storage between the seats. Okay, let's quickly go and have a look at this bar crusher. So we've got the bar crusher, the 575. One, rated to a max 115. Uh, the yellow fins are 140, so we've got the 130 on it. Now, good dive ladder once again. Yeah, not, bad, not a bad ladder. Hydraulic steer. Come up. We have uh, the transom door. Or cutting board. I don't know. What do you do with that? Anyway, probably works. Goes into there. There's your transom door. 
and the rear seat that folds up here. This is quite unique to Bar Crusher, and I quite like that rear seat, the way that it goes. It just locks away and gone. Live bait tank here, good size. Probably a little bit bigger than Yellowfin, deeper, but it doesn't have a window. Whether that mean, matters, I don't much sure. Good looking rod holders. Bait board, good cutting board, all made by Bar Crusher. It's got a measure and a couple of, well, as you know, I don't put drinks in these. You can put a drink holder in there. I put my rod in and I put the sinkers in here to stop them slashing around. Fuel filter, batteries, dual batteries here. Isolation and switches and fuses for battery, for uh, the winch. Storage here for tackle boxes. You know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 tackle boxes. So they're about three short on what I would take. Good hummingbird on this. Fold down windscreen the same, you know, and, and fair enough to say Yellowfin copied Bar Crusher. I think that's fine, you know, but just because someone comes up with a good idea doesn't mean they own it forever. Good looking bolster seats, swinging and moving, all the same. Now let's get in here, what, what do we got in here? Safety gear, good looking ink, good looking door to get out. Uh, Probably have to have a look in the back here. I'd say the cabin on the yellow fin's bigger. This has got a bunk in fill in it, which is pretty groovy. Fillers in the floor here, which is all good. Uh, and then you probably to get to fuses or anything, you undo this and pull that hole back out. You can get to the anchor pretty easy. Light. Not a bad looking boat, really. Uh, we've got the safety gear. Okay, bilge. Oh, look here. What do we got here? Okay, we've got a little kill tank. Now, that's interesting with the kill tank because we don't have self-draining floors. Your yellow fin has scuppers, self-draining deck. And we've spoken of that. That's because the bar crusher sits in the water. Because that's the floor of the outside of the boat, right? The outside of the boat's on the other side of that four mil piece of alloy there, where the yellow fin floors up here, right? What that means is the yellow fin's got more freeboard, so you can have self-draining deck. It's, it's not a big thing and I wouldn't care, but if you undone the bung on that kill tank, this boat will sink. Whether that's an issue to you or not, I don't know. But you just don't undo it. But you can put a fish in, drive off, undo it, let everything come out. I like to just get a white butcher's bucket, chuck the fish in there and bleed them. And then I chuck them in an esky on ice. I just, what I wanted to do is just look at these transoms. Because when I walked away, there's a few things I didn't show. Okay. So the yellow fin. What we've got here, these are the scuppers. Because the floor's at that height. And we've got Volvo trim tabs. Okay there and have a look at the hole how it's put together there okay so everything's fine traditional come back because there's some things behind the bar crush and i think bar crusher people need to know and everyone needs to know now come back here this this model of bar crusher doesn't have trim tabs on it and but what it does have and you can see there's no scuppers that's fine and it's got the the this unique hull and what that does is when you think about it shine on to me the back of a boat only comes down to a V to join the two sides. So what they've done here, it's like a planing hull, right? Or uh, a concave planing hull. And what they've done is made a bigger surface area. Instead of having it the V like this, they've got this wave process, it's like a curve, which creates a bigger surface area, which should make bigger and better lift and get this boat out. It's also got the flooding transom, right? So what that flooding transom does is load uh, liters 100 litres, I don't know what it is, I don't want to quote, it, it, it floods with water, which sinks the boat a little bit, because, shine on me, and this is the important thing, water in water has no weight, right? Think about it, think about it. So, that hull has an open void, which when you stop, the water runs in, which takes some buoyancy out of the boat, which sinks it, which gives the stability. Then when you take off, the water comes out. 
right? It's not a bad idea. I, I quite like it. And there it is. And then it's got this shape to increase the surface area. Awesome. Gen 2 hull design. So I wanted to show you that, okay? Now let's get in the water. Hey, so here we are with the Yellowfin 580 and the Bar Crusher 575. Let's have a look at these beauties go and then we'll swap over. Okay, I'll turn around. It's only, there's not a lot of waves again, the wind's blowing, but you know, oh, I better, I'll back up and I'll get straight. What I noticed all of a sudden about this Yellowfin, even in this half to a metre of chop, sunny day in the bay, it's very stable, more stable than I thought it was going to be. I've got over there in the 575, he's actually my brother and Ella. Ella's on work experience because at Brisbane Yamaha, anyone that wants work experience, we give it to them because someone gave you a go and I like to give young people a go. I like young people. I think young people are the future. So look after them. And like I always say, someone took you fishing so why don't you take some young people fishing? All right, let's go. Now I've got a 130. My brother Mark's only got a 115, so I'll back up a bit. And so what I want you to see, come up to me here, Mark. What I want you to see, we're both trimmed down. And about there, I want, try and get in the middle with the drone, Dan, and just see how these two, that's it, spit out that wave, because they're both really good boats and they're both spitting it out lovely. All I will say is, Ella looks like she's getting wet and we're as dry as a, we're dry as a piece of toast and she's wet as a shag. We'll just trim up a little bit. You can hear that Yamaha. Jeez, I like these Yamahas. They roar, they're just reliable, they're beautiful boat. That bar crush is a good looking boat. Spitting it down with that shine. And I'll tell ya, both going pretty bloody good. And no worries, let's see if I can just, I'll stop. Let me just have a look at these waves. And as you know, I like to do a bit of circle work. See how these things behave. Not that you'd ride like that all the time. Not a problem really. Now let's have a look. I'm gonna back up. Now I've trimmed it down. Now I've trimmed it down. And what we'll do is we'll just back up like I was fighting a fish or something. And you know, some people they said to me, well, why don't you try it all, all trimmed up? So we'll trim it up and we'll reverse. You can see there, going reverse was no issue. I'll trim it up at Brisbane Yamaha. Yeah, we always put trim limiters on so you can't hit bait boards. Whoa, better drop that down a bit. Gee, you hear it raw. You gotta love that, don't you? I love that, listen to our boards. No worries, you can get it over. Let me just see how it goes in this bit of waves here. So trim down, you always start off with the motor trimmed down and that's the most powerful. And then you can trim it out. We've got trim tabs on this one. You know, I've got 190, I've got about 100 litres of fuel in both, so they're the same and this acceleration's pretty good up on the plane within three to four seconds and it just eats those little waves just eats them you know you'd be across a tangalooma in about half an hour i'd tell the wife to book me in at, at uh, tangalooma and order me a big salad by the time they had it ready i'd be there out off the beach <coughs> now these yellow fins we just went to the boat show. We sold 10 of them. We've delivered three. By golly, the customers are loving them. Loving them. Why? Australian made and design backed. They just really are an Australian success story. So let's have a look and what we'll do, I'll swap boats and I'll have a go at this bar crusher. I've got the 575 bar crusher, 115 Yamaha on it trim down, we're going off, not big waves, it's soft, it's spitting it out, steering it manoeuvres quite well, 
It's going over. Slicing through the waves. Like you'd expect. It's comfortable. It's a pretty good boat. What I'd say is it's wetter. But it's hard to know. I'm looking at that yellow fin. And when I was looking at the bar crusher, <coughs> I thought the bar crusher was beautiful. But now I'm looking at the yellow fin. And I'm thinking the yellow fin's better than me. <coughs> so, but it's soft. If I pound it along beautifully, and uh, I'll be happy to have other. Oh, oh! Well, that banged a little bit. Maybe, it, yeah, well, I've got to say it. More than what I thought it would do. You know, for the size. More than the yellow fin. And I think for the price. They're hard to tell between them. I don't know which one I'd have, other than I sell yellow fins, so I'm probably going to buy a yellow fin. My brother's looking too cool over there, isn't it? What a good looking boat. And it's getting around. Now I'll back off and I'll try coming around and I'll do some circle work. Let's see. Digged in nice, turned beautifully. Whoa! Now you don't want to do that too much on a, on a follow and see. So that's that tight hull, but no, I'm coming round, nice, then I take off, handles any of that, leans over, pretty good boat, and I'll come back, got drone issues, so I'm speeding everything up, it's spitting it out, I don't have a lot of water, but I did get more water before, and Alice soaking, because it got a bit too close. Now I run that into a follow and see, there's no signs of them breaching, none of them will. And we're banging over, you can probably hear that hitting. But it sounds like it's banging harder, but it's actually pretty soft and it's squirting out. So all right, let's just try to reverse. I've got the motor down. You know, we like to do this, people like it. We'll put the motor down, I'll reverse up. Motor down, reversing back. Oh, that's going back pretty nice. Oh, oh, watch out, Dad. Wait on. So here we are. I've been in the new, brand new yellow fin 580 and the Bar Crusher 575. Both awesome boats, I'll tell you. They're both awesome. I'd like them both, you know? But the reality is, there's not much in it. I think the yellow fin's bigger. The yellow fin is drier. It's more stable. Maybe in some big seas, this Bar Crusher might be better, but I need to get in some big seas. And I like Bar Crushers, I've owned them myself. But I think the yellow fin, it's going to come down to money. So when you go in, I want you to go in both, make your decision. <coughs> Have a look at what standard options and what you get. Come on a test ride. And then you make the decision. And then in a minute, what we're going to do, we're going to get back to the boat ramp because the drone's just about out. And we'll ask my brother what, and Ella what they think. You know, just so you get another perspective. But. What a wonderful day to be alive in Morton Bay. There goes a shag, you know, I hate shags. It's bloody, oh, I'll tell you something. I asked my brother, and what's your favorite sandwich? Ham and pickle. And guess what? His is a ham and pickle, my dad's is a ham and pickle, and my son's a ham and pickle. I've got four generations of ham and pickle. What chance did I have? So, if you want to go on a boat, if you want to buy a trophy boat, Call the team at Brisbane Yamaha, 3888-1727 and you too can be living the dream and living in Queensland and all these beautiful waterways. I've just come back from having a go in the 580 Yellowfin, brand new boat, brand new model and a 575 Bar Crusher. And I suppose what I've got to say is, you know, if you went in today's, one of today's Land Cruiser, 200 series loot, Land Cruiser, or if you went into a 100 series Land Cruiser, you can't, it's not a real fair comparison, right? And why I'm saying that is, because I actually think the, the yellow fin's a better boat. Now, why? It's way bigger. I think that uh, floor being higher, higher and, the, and the scuppers is an advantage. The, the, the space between the seats and the comfort and the ride and the dryness. But I'm not saying the Bar Crush is a bad boat. I think the Bar Crush is an awesome boat. Now we've got Al Alla and my brother Mark. Mark's come up because every year we go to Fraser and slaughter Taylor. Well, that's a Queensland thing to do. And he loves it and I love it. 
and Ella's on work experience. And they've been in both boats. And so I said to them, don't tell me anything. Because otherwise it'll all seem staged and I'll ask some questions. If I don't like the answers, I just won't run it. So if you don't see this, you'll never know what I'm saying anyway. If you do see it, we'll get the right answer before you send in all your comments. So, Mark, what did you think about both boats? Both boats are excellent. Very smooth. The yellow fin, just a little bit smoother, just a little bit more roomier. When you say smoother, what do you mean? Uh, the, the bar crusher was just a bit more bouncier in the waves and uh, just moved around a little bit more. But the yellow fin, just smoother. You just sort of, you didn't have to hang on as tight. You just sort of easier to, easier to do everything. It was just that little bit smoother. And what about you, Ella? You've come to work experience and you ended up on the water. I've enjoyed it. Um, I really like the yellow fin more than, uh, a little bit more than the bar crusher. Only because the yellow fin is smoother. It's got more features to it. Um, it's a little bit more stable when you're... On That's an interesting one, isn't it? Stable, considering the, the bar crusher has the, the flooding hull, the flooding hull. But oh, it's, it's a hell of a lot. It's, it's a lot more stable in rough weather. So uh, I suppose have a look at them both, Dan. And what I want to say to you is, I'm happy with you buying either boat, but do yourself a favor and go in both of them in the water so you can be informed, so you get the right boat. And if you get the right boat, you'll use it more, your family will be happy, you'll have happy kids, happy wife, you'll be catching fish, everyone will look healthier. And we'll see you next time we do a, DV, a video. Bye for now.